Hi, everyone. This is Brian Hartman with Emerge. Now, FDA just approved Eli Lilly's weight loss drug, Terzepatide, directly for management of obesity. They're calling it, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Zepbound. This is the same medication as Monjaro, but now there's a direct indication for weight loss. This is similar to what Novo did with semaglutide, where it marketed as Ozempic for diabetes and Wegovy for weight loss. According to the press release, it's expected to hit the market by year end and be available in the standard 2.5, 5, 7.5, 10, 12.5, and 15 milligram doses. Now, the price will be about $1,059, or 20% cheaper than Wegovy, and that's similar to what Monjaro costs. And I expect Novo is probably going to lower their price to compete, but we'll have to wait and see. And in more good news, Lilly will have a discount card available that is similar to the Monjaro card from last year. Now, if you have coverage for ZetBound, you may pay as little as $25 for a one or three month script. If you do not have coverage, which unfortunately many people do not, you may pay as low as $550 for a one month script. Now in the trial, 76% of patients lost at least 10% of their body weight after a year, 44% lost more than 20% of their body weight, and 29% lost more than a quarter of their body weight. Average starting weight in that study was 231 pounds. Now this is fantastic news for the world of obesity medicine and our patients. I work for Emerge, an online telehealth obesity management practice. Check us out online at Emerge for Me. We can serve as your weight loss physician and write medications as needed. Now FDA approved indications for ZetBound is anyone with a BMI greater than 30 or greater than 27 with an obesity related comorbidity. That's usually defined as hypertension, hyperlipidemia, diabetes, could be sleep apnea, musculoskeletal disease, and others could be arguably covered as well. Now, common side effects are usually GI related and are due to the medication's altered GI motility. Usually that comes along with nausea and constipation, although diarrhea can sometimes occur as well. You should not take this medication if you have a history of MEN type 2 or a personal or family history of medullary thyroid cancer, or of course a hypersensitivity to any of the ingredients. Now again, we are thrilled with this announcement and cannot wait to help patients either start or continue their weight loss journey. It's a brave new world for weight loss, and millions of Americans are losing significant weight with these new pharmaceuticals. They're helping reduce the risk of diabetes, cancer, heart attack, stroke, and so many more obesity-related conditions. This is not a miracle medication. Yes, it should significantly reduce your appetite and cravings, as well as increase your satiety when you do eat, but it needs to be combined with increased activity and a healthy diet. The medication will not do all of the work for you. And if you stop the medication and haven't made any permanent changes, guess what? the weight is gonna come back. Studies have proven this. Now I'll put a link to our website and the Weight Loss and Urgent Care Facebook group down below in the comments. Thanks for watching today, and now let's get healthy together.